Hello, I'm Joseph. Um, today I want to talk about the X3 Elite Pen from XP Pen. This is their newer pen tech they came out with last year, uh, and they brought it all the way down to the $50 Deco M, so I'm very happy that they're um, being very price cautious of this new pen and allowing people who don't have $100 plus to spend to have access to their newest pen tech, unlike Huion, who's forcing you to kind of spend 100 and fifty dollars for the their newer pen tech uh, with the x3 pen you get um shorter retraction and lighter activation those are the two major selling points of this uh, i kind of want to talk about that and what does it mean and in my actual opinion on this newer pen and if it's worth it for you to either upgrade or wait until this kind of goes discounted to purchase instead okay so let's talk about the retraction so retraction is when you when the nib touches the tip here uh you'll have so much more uh, of the nib kind of, not so much less, sorry, of the nib actually go into the tip itself. So you can see that there's very, very little movement there. Uh, if I go back to one of their older pens here, this comes with a G-Star and a Deco Fun. Uh, you can see that when I do press into this, there's more significant uh, kind of th thing there. And that's because this does have a spring, so there's, you know, that going in there. What does that mean? Um, for them specifically, they were bringing out that this is going to reduce pen wobble. Um, if you were drawing on like a small pen tablet uh, or a medium or even like a 10 by 6, you'll never run into probably this issue of, of pen wobble. But I have a WH-1409. I also have a 22-inch pen display. Um, and a problem I will have is when I'm doing a really, really long stroke, uh, there's points in the like WH-1409 where sometimes like the little divot or maybe there's something on top of the surface or whatever else and that there's so much wobble let me see if i can get some focus on here one there you go there's so much wobble in the nib itself that when it when it hits something that's going to cause a little bit more drag that the uh it changes your line and you're really going to notice this when you do line art so when you're like when you have your your hand there you're doing like a perfect arc and all of a sudden there's some wobble and you try it again and there's another like wobbles in another place even though you move in like a perfectly smooth stroke, it's because of that that deflection that's happening in the barrel with the nib and how much wobble that is. Um, the thing is, is that even with that, like I showed up how much wobble that has, uh, this still has some, I want to say like significant portion of nib wobble. I'm having trouble focusing here. There you go. Well, we'll see. Okay. So, yeah, if I can get my phone to stop wobbling there you go um if i try to wobble this nib you can see that there's still quite a bit of wobble in here now, obviously it is improved it is better but if i take like this um this pen here from walcom this is uh, a pen that was released i think in 20 2016 let's see if i get a focus on that and i try to wobble the nib it's very 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 little so having that wobble reduced would definitely be better it is reduced to some extent but not to the extent of being like a massive difference as good as wall comp type of thing and this is an older pen like i said and their newer pens have even better tolerances uh, that have significantly less wobble in it i have one that has this is absolutely zero wobble in it and actual nib itself uh, focusing so causing an issue here um but yeah so what that means for me, and this has to do with the initial activation force with this pen here, is that they reduce it from 6 grams, um, or reduce it all the way down to 3 grams. And they're saying that's like a 10x improvement. The thing is, like, I've tested this pen. I got a digital scale, and I, I measured the weight of the pen tablet, and then the, the pen against it. And this activates around uh, 6 to 7 grams of force. Um, but it's very, very spotty at that. Like if I have it around that six or seven grams, um, it may not always register hundred percent of the time. So I'll get like spotty dots and stuff like that. Uh, with the X3 elite pen, as soon as I get to three grams, it's, it's activating. It's very, very consistent in that. Um, I, I don't have any problems with getting spotty lines because of that. And yeah, you can draw lighter. The thing is, is that I normally... We'll never draw at three grams <laughs> of activation force. Um, my normal drawing range is around like maybe 20 plus, 20 plus grams. Um, and that's about it. I mean, there's not really too much to that. Um, that doesn't mean much for me for my drawing, except what I noticed when you're tilting. So when you tilt the pen, 
anyone who uses tilt knows that or just uses a lot of uh, degree of tilt when they're trying to actually draw um, that they put a lot more pressure than you need to do when you go in like vertical when your pen is completely vertical uh, and that's because a big portion of that has to again to do with this um, uh, nib deflection thing where there's so much um, kind of movement in the barrel itself with the nib having to pivot to the side that when you get to you know putting pressure on here it's it's most of the pressure is being put in a tip here and then it's it's slowly like dispersing into the back where the sensor's at so you it's just like you just have to put so much more on these older pens with the x3 elite i've noticed that you have to put significantly less pressure that's that's two good things um one is less hand fatigue because you're you're putting less pressure you're, you know you're putting uh, less grip on your pen to try to get those light strokes to happen and light shades um and then also um, because of that, like, uh, I guess lesser deflection and, and lighter activation, um, that, uh, the control of your pressure is much easier. Now they did do something else that they didn't really bring up in their marketing material, um, to get to 8,000 levels with like this older pen here, uh, from the deco fun, um, is 300 grams of force. That means you have to apply at least 300 grams to get to 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. You can curve that uh, line in their software, but you still always have that like 300. With the X3 pen, X3 Elite pen, they've increased that from 300 to 400. So you, it's an extra 100 grams of force. Now that's a lot of force, but what that's doing is like, stretching out the levels. So it's a much easier to balance it between them uh, and easier to control that way. So again, when you're in tilt, it's easier to control. Specifically, when you're going, when you're pivoting from one degree to the other, uh, you'll if you've ever looked at like the pressure rates in that in their software, the XP Pen software, um, it greatly varies. Like you can jump between two to three thousand levels of pressure sensitivity, even with you thinking that you're applying the same uh, pressure. When you when you change that tilt, the pressure changes within at least of where you're applying the pressure of the tip changes so obviously that greatly greatly um, diminishes when you do that tilting but it's also a little bit easier now because you're having that increased range of pressure from 300 to 400 grams something i also noticed was that when you get to the very edges and i'm not sure if this is the pen tech or maybe the chip inside uh, the pen tablet but when you get to the very edges normally with pen tablets and pen displays it'll lock the uh, tilt value so when you like, get to the edge and you want to tilt more or tilt less the value will not change it's it's just stuck there uh, with this newer pen and at least the deco m i'm noticing that i can get to the very edge and change still tilt uh, um, and yeah that's awesome now, speaking of tilt, um, I run into a problem. So with their older Pentec, you'll notice that they have like a better bevel on their tip. Even the older Wacom pens, this has a better bevel. Uh, their old, some of the like old pens too, like this, also have that little bit, bit bever, better bevel. Uh, some of the other pens from like Huion, what they'll do is they'll, they'll provide um, about the same amount as uh this here the catch is that because the nib is thicker that it can touch the pen tablet at more degrees of freedom so what i've noticed and it's not by much but it's enough to notice is that with this pen i think i get about i can get to about like 75 to 80 degrees with this, it's less. I think it's about 65 to 70. It regardless is about five degrees of difference. It's not much, but it's enough to not allow me to continue to work like this. Um, where else with this pen, uh, I would be able to continue to work like that um, there. And I, I don't know if this has to do with the flat edge here that's causing maybe me to uh, draw at an extra degree or whatever. Um, but it, it'll, you know, this flat edge may uh, in, impact your ability to perceive how much tilt you have versus rotating around but regardless I, I actually just took like a like a visual measurement and it was about you know when I when I go to tilt it was about that much difference in tilt that I could do between these two pens so about five degrees uh, of difference so what I would hope they do in the next revision is they come back to this like bevel design like like Wacom does uh, with their pen so it's not straight edge or at least do like what their old pen type does which is having that little bit more of extra bevel at the tip 
um, or just make the nib thicker. I don't know why they made the nib thinner. Um, maybe that has to do with some tolerances or whatnot. I don't know. Uh, but uh, the nib is wearing down a little bit more quicker than what I was expecting. But the kicker is, is that they're not um, greedy about the nibs. You can go to the XP Pen store and buy 100 nibs for $10. That's 10 cents a nibs. You do that for any of the, the XP Pen, or sorry, the Wacom pens. It's like a dollar a nib. Uh, the newer um, Huion pen that came out and some of their Huion pen tips, like this one here, uh, is like a dollar a nib too. So uh, XP Pen is doing phenomenal on bringing this cost down and not making their nibs super expensive. Now they do have felt nibs. So if you wanted to have felt uh, nibs on this, which I don't think will do much of anything on here anyways, but if you did, it is a little bit, a little bit more expensive. Um, I think it's like 75 cents a nib at that point, but it's still cheaper <laughs> than any, any Wacom felt nib anyways, or any felt nib anywhere else. So I'm just glad that they're being very competitive in pricing. Uh, their pen tablets and their pen, newest pen tech um, and offering different types of nibs uh, for this pen here. Other than that, there's not really too much else to say. Uh, I enjoy the texture and the resistance and, and grit on this pen tablet. This will be a separate review, but in com combination with the X3 Elite, it is just a phenomenal value uh, that you get with a great drawing experience. Um, this is something like if you really really need this because you have tilt and you, you need to step down from like the deco 01 v2 then maybe look at the deco m if not hold out maybe you can afford the uh, deco l uh which i think is 70 dollars. this is 50 um you know 20 dollars is a little bit of a jump but with that um deco l you get the 300 report rate so you get much more responsiveness out of the pen uh you also get like a rubberized edge on that but you get the same pen so you're not really um, losing out too much when you go to the Deco M.